God is saying to you, with a voice that echoes across the realms of existence and penetrates the core of your being, that everything is going to work out for in his omnipotence and omniscience. He has foreseen the paths and outcomes of your journey and assures you of his divine intervention at the most critical moments, when your strength wanes and the burdens of life press heavily upon your shoulders, he is there, offering a reservoir of strength and resilience that transcends human capabilities, urging you to persist in your endeavors, reminding you that the adversary's persuasive whispers are but fleeting shadows compared to the radiant light of his eternal truth. A truth that has liberated you from the chains of past afflictions and set you on a path of redemption and purpose. He calls upon you to join his assembly a celestial gathering that transcends geographical boundaries and cultural divides, where his people, regardless of their location on the earthly plane, come together in a unity of spirit and purpose. For his will is not bound by the constraints of space and time, if necessary, he will move mountains and part seas to ensure the fulfillment of his divine plan, a plan that requires your heartfelt commitment to stand in solidarity with those who have chosen to align their will with his. To be part of a fellowship that transcends the mundane and soars into the realm of the spiritual, where miracles are the norm and the impossible becomes possible. He is the God who provides solace and a sense of belonging to the lonely creating homes not made of brick and mortar but of love, acceptance, and spiritual kinship. This fellowship of saints is a testament to the transformative power of saying yes to his divine plan. A plan that brings about a seismic shift in the spiritual landscape, changing lives, healing wounds, and forging a path towards a future filled with hope and promise. He has taken upon himself the responsibility to make you feel the same, to imbue you with a sense of purpose and belonging, for when his people come together in agreement, they form a majority that is unbeatable, their unity bringing forth the anointing oil. Reminiscent of that which flowed down Aaron's beard, Symbolizing the establishment of his reign upon the earth, this is true irrespective of their numerical strength, for in his kingdom, the value of his people is not measured in numbers, but in the depth of their faith and the sincerity of their commitment. The Father urges you to embrace the change he is ushering in, a change that rejects the notion of isolating his people in enclaves removed from the world, for it is time, he declares, to step out of the salt shaker and into the earth, to be his agents of change and beacons of light in a world shrouded in darkness. He has not prayed for your removal from this world, but for your protection and empowerment within it, so that you may triumph over evil and manifest his presence in every aspect of your life. He calls you to break free from the confines of a Christian society that has become too insular to transform into the shining example he has fashioned you to be. In this transformative process, the leadership dynamic is evolving, with Saul's era coming to an end and the rise of the Davids.
who will lead with a heart aligned with his. This heralds the time for the third anointing, a path that leads to authority and enthronement blessings awaiting those who persevere and embrace this period of transition. He implores you to recognize what he is doing on this planet and align yourself with his purposes to acknowledge the anointing of recognition he has intended for you. An anointing that is more than just a transient spiritual experience but one that profoundly impacts the external world. This anointing, though internal, is meant to be a force for change, a catalyst that propels you to action and influence in the world. He reminds you that who he has brought you to is a crucial factor in your journey, your actions determining the impact you will have on the globe. It is a call to action. A rejection of passivity and an embrace of purposeful living, he warns against the company of the idle and the spiritually complacent, for such an environment will not elevate you spiritually or personally but rather keep you entrenched in the lowlands of spiritual experience. Far from the fullness of life that he sacrificed himself to provide for you. In your passionate pursuit of his purposes, be prepared for misunderstanding and rejection. Some people will not accompany you to the destination he is leading you to, their enthusiasm not matching yours for the things he is doing in your life. He instructs you to love them, release them, and move forward, not allowing yourself to become so attached to your current existence that you settle for anything less than his calling for you. He emphasizes the importance of seeking a deep connection with him, a connection that goes beyond the shallows of religious experience and taps into the profound depths of spiritual intimacy. This deep connection is where true transformation occurs. Where the additional resources and insights you seek are found, and where you can fully understand the gifts, talents, and capabilities he has placed in your life and in the lives of others. He reassures you of his willingness to work with and through you daily, urging you to refuse to be part of situations where you are irrelevant or unneeded. His plans for you are not relics of the past but active and ongoing integral to the work he is doing on the globe. And your participation and involvement are essential. He calls you to immerse yourself in the truth of his presence, to be undistracted by those who lack the desire for the divine, and to maintain the anointing oil and awareness of his workings, do not accept no for an answer for anything that he has promised, and continue to move forward. For he will continue to move forward in the greater. He speaks of a coping mechanism his people have developed one that allows them to accept things as they are, but he declares that he will not leave you or his people in your current state. He will guide you through a transformational process until his very essence is manifest in your personality, life, and the sequence of your days, a witness of strength and majesty in his name. He welcomes you into the treasured, dispelling the notion of exclusion and dissatisfaction, ensuring your inclusion in all that he has planned. His purposes are unfolding all around, 
and he has found and included you in a manner that is comprehensive and all-encompassing. He speaks of dismantling old patterns that have failed, declaring that the assessments others have made about you are no longer accurate. He has assigned you a double portion, a twofold share of faith, responsibility, and anointing, and urges you to acknowledge and embrace this responsibility. He calls you to address the needs of others with the power he has given you, reminding you that you are not the last but a vital part of his plan. The full genome of his DNA is within you, a result of the blood shed at Calvary, ensuring that you lack nothing, are not rejected or excluded but are made to feel at home and invited to advance to higher levels daily. He speaks of those who may be offended, disinterested, and depart, but assures you that there is nowhere else to go, for you have found the words of life in him and in yourself. You have been chosen, for many are called, but few are chosen and it is loyalty that makes the difference. He urges you to heed his commands and fulfill them, promising to take the small amount you give with all your heart and multiply it, appointing you as the administrator of his glory on earth. He asks you to let go of who he is within you. Driving yourself to the point where all he has given becomes life for you and those around you. You are the vessel through which his splendor will flow, the administration of his glory on earth. He asks you to accept full responsibility for all that he is within you to keep your head held high and be the person he has commanded you to be. Recognizing and accepting the responsibilities others have rejected. He urges you not to ignore those in need. And assures those who are anxious about the future that he is causing a great disturbance throughout the world to bring about the complete revelation of his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. This is the template that defines his entire mission. He encourages you to keep up the good work and move forward, promising that if you open your mouth, he will fill it with his words. He asks you to separate yourself from the spiritually illiterate and indolent to speak with authority and act boldly, promising to bless and favor you guiding you to a fundamental realization of his power. He instructs you to keep your speech pure free from bitterness and resentment, as these negative emotions will prevent you from accessing the opportunities for growth he offers. Bitterness puts you in a precarious position, taking away what it claims he has withheld from you. He reassures you that he has not left anything out of your possession, that what may seem delayed is not denied, and that there is protection for your right to be born. His word is true, his goodness is not limited, and you are a cherished child of a dedicated father. He urges you not to let any behavior or attitude prevent you from receiving what he is willing to give, reminding you that you are accepted among those who are adored, but resentment is not. If you wrap yourself in the cloak of bitterness, you risk thinking he has turned his back on you. He promises that if you shed the garments of self-centeredness and self-pity, the robe of righteousness and the signet ring of his favor will materialize on your shoulders and right hand.
This is the reality, and you are called to rise to the path of righteousness.